I'll give you a couple examples. Um, we spend virtually anything we do probably has a specified number of kicks for individuals. Like some are not good at it, they get three. But like Leon does seven kicks every wall, everything. Like he never doesn't do seven kicks on any set. Threshold, this, sometimes he goes more on this. Reagan, same thing. Reagan goes six. She has a count for backstroke, which I think is six or seven, and her fly is like eight. So she, you know, she, she does it all the time, and we're always working on it. But we do sets for underwaters. Up here, we're doing vertical kicking, right? So we're kicking with weight. We're overloading a vertical motion, and we're trying to teach them about the motion of kicking. And vertical kicking is done here, 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 here in a line, right? Hence the name. It's not done like this. You don't sit and push, right? What I try to get them to visualize is like, uh, like when you go to SeaWorld and the dolphins like balance on their tails. They probably don't do that now because that's cruel, but anyway. Um, do you know what I mean? It's a finning motion. It's not like a pushing motion. So we try to do that vertically. So they learn how to do that and we do sets of that. We do things called rockets where they go underwater and they either push off the bottom or I like to do in the deep diving while they go down and they have to just change momentum and vertical kick straight up, right? Sometimes we flutter, sometimes it's vertical. We do a variety of those things. And the most important thing that we've done recently are sets where I kind of build in the underwaters, and I will write up one, and I'm going to preface this by saying I am doing this with swimmers that are very advanced and have built up to this over time. I am not doing this with age group swimmers, and you should not do it. Got it? You, I will do it, but you have to promise me you will know what I'm saying here with fins, at the end of all our morning practices, I'll probably go fins and do something like this. I'll give you its most basic form. Um, solid 25s. One, one, that's two, two, three, three, four, four. All the 25s are on 20 seconds, all of them. And we're alternating free swim, where they can just cruise it, Underwater kick hard. That's the instruction. So it's all one, one swim, one under, two swim, two under, three swim, three under, four swim, four under. I forgot the best part, four times. <laughs> Sometimes three. But we've been building this up over about a year now. And it started with much more rest, and it started with much less you know, together. I've only gotten four in a row and I won't go over that. You know? Shallow water blackout is a thing. That's what I'm telling you. This is like, you know, there are a lot of tools in your toolbox. This is kind of a chainsaw. Not for my guys, but it would be for young kids. So don't do it for young kids, but come up with a variation. Maybe they're on 40, right? And maybe you just do two and two. Or maybe you just do one. One swim, one underwater, on 30 or 40 or a minute or whatever you want to do. Give them recovery in between the start. Game. But what this does is, by the time you've done 10 of these three or four times, you got 30 underwaters over the course of this set. They're doing them at a good effort, and in their mind, they're doing them hard. But they're actually doing them sub-maximally, because you can't do 30 of them maximally. And they're actually replicating what happens in the races. Because in a 200, you're not kicking maximally underwater. You're doing it in a variation of effort. So we've had great success doing this type of training, which is hard training of the underwaters. But it's more kind of like, again, a speed endurance kind of training. You know, I think a lot of people make the mistake of, okay, we're going to work on our underwaters this time at 25. Okay, well, that's great. 10-6. You gotta do seven of them in a 200 yards. Where are the other six? You can't do them all like that. So I think there's a place for the, the fast ones. I think there's a place for fast, but we've actually had pretty good success doing that with underwaters. Yeah, cool. I think I gotta take some questions and then we're gonna be done. Saturday's just like this. <laughs>